right guys, it's time for a new video series on my channel. Each month, me and my husband, we're looking to kind of spruce up the house a little bit. So we do have some funds in our um, home updating that we're going to be using. And we figured we'd do it on a monthly basis, just spend a little bit. It might be some home decor. Um, we're looking to refinish a table that he built, which we should have done months ago, but it's still sitting there undone. We need some new lamps in our living room and we're looking to refinish our kitchen cabinets as well. So just a whole bunch of things on a budget, um, looking to spend as little as we can to make things a little bit nicer. So each month I will bring you a video on what we are doing. So this is the month for, this is the video for the month of January. This month we decided to do some home decor um, get some new pieces, kind of spruce up things. In our living room, we um, did have this picture that was hanging up and I will show you. It's just a canvas piece that we got at Home Goods quite a while ago. It was actually $175. Um, it's probably going on four years old now and at the time we loved it and at this time we do not like it at all. So it was time to go ahead and part with it and um, take it down and put something new up. And our walls are super, super high. So we needed to find something that was kind of chunky, but a little bit more modern that would kind of um, update our living room just a little bit. So in a second, I'm gonna show you what we are going to be putting on our wall and I will show you a before and after when it's um, put up what it looks like. We did get a couple of little decor pieces here and there. So the stores that I shopped at were, I got one piece at at home. I just could not find anything that I really liked. Although um, Shanty to Chic, which I follow them, they're um, two girls who make a whole bunch of awesome furniture and modern pieces and you should follow them on their Instagram. They make some really cool things. They have a new line there and I really wasn't impressed with the items that my at-home store had. So I will definitely check back and maybe pick up a couple of little pieces here and there. Okay, so in our kitchen we have a little buffet where I put um, different knickknacks, there's shelves, and one of the things that I had on there, the kids were running around the kitchen and it fell off and it broke, so I wanted to get something to kind of fill in its place, so I got this really neat little pitcher from at home. It was just $9.99 which I thought was a good price because I seen a similar one at um, Hobby Lobby and it was like $17.99 and I, I actually like this finish and this color a little bit better. So I will show you this in the video. The rest of the stuff is from Hobby Lobby. They have some really great things. Now a couple things to know about Hobby Lobby is check their clearance. Sometimes I think their clearance is not the best and then sometimes you can find a couple pieces that are really reasonable and I did get one sign that we are using in our living room above our closet door here that I will show you guys shortly. Um, and they also, they have great sales. So each week they'll have items that are 50% off and it kind of rotates. You know, they might have picture frames, they might have wall decor, and then next week it may be, you know, different house decor pieces. So it's just watching the sales and getting the things you want on sale is the best. Plus they always have a 40% off coupon. You can go to their site, HobbyLobby.com, and you can actually um, click where it says 40% coupon. It's off of a single item and it has to be at regular price. So you can't use it on clearance or if there's a sale item, you can't use it. But if there's something that you really want, 40% is great savings. They, at my store, are extremely strict at limiting, limiting that coupon to one coupon per person. So even if you wanted to do like separate transactions, they will not allow it at my store. So just be aware of that. You can gradually pick up things or you can bring friends or family members if you need additional pieces as well so you can get that 40% savings. So one thing that I got was this just little sign that I'll probably put on my, um, put somewhere. It's on the farm. We love you until the cows come home. I think it's really, really cute. This was regularly $5.99. It was 50% off, so three bucks for this. A nice, cute little piece. And then also, um, above the buffet, we are going to be putting these fork and spoon pieces. These were on sale for 50% off, so they were normally $19.99. We grabbed them for 10 bucks, which is a really, really great deal. And what I will do in the video is show you how we hung these up in case it's something that you wanna get and put in your kitchen okay, guys, as well. And this is one of the things that I'm very excited for this month. Um, I definitely wanted to change out that canvas that we had above our couch here in the living room. So um, I decided to go with this um, home 
with the metal letters and I found this really cute wreath and I like that it's green. I like that it's plain so it can just stay up there all year round. Now I was definitely inspired by this. Um, on Instagram I had saw Gina Schweppe. She had done a piece in her living room where she had the home sign going straight down and it's very, very popular now and I saw hers and I um, told her how much I really liked it and then I showed her when I actually went to Hobby Lobby and what I plan on doing. So um, she definitely had a great idea with this and these letters are really, really thick. Go ahead to the M. They're chunky letters. So for the wall that I'm working with, which you can see we have very, tall ceiling, so it's very hard to decorate a wall like that. Um, but I like these, they're chunky, and I think it's just gonna work really well and it's gonna add a modern touch. Now these were $29.99. The week when I was gonna buy them, they were not on sale, and here's what I did, guys. Me and my husband went, and I was hoping that we could do separate transactions with the 40% off, but that was a no-go. So the cashier was so kind and told us that these were gonna go on sale the following week. So we were like, we're waiting to get these when they're on sale. They were 50% off. So it was just $15 a letter, which I thought was really, really, really reasonable. And she also informed us that the wreaths were gonna be 50% off because this wreath at regular price, I think it was, yeah, it was $49.99. So we grabbed it when it was on sale for 50% off. So we grabbed the wreath for $25. So typically all of these items, the three letters would be $45 and then the wreath would be $25, which would bring a total to $70, which I think is a steal. It's a very hard wall to go ahead and decorate. So I will show you guys when it is up on and you can see Finally, the before here, and after. Guys, this is the clearance item that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, this welcome friends and family with the wood finish I, in the black lettering. I really, really like it. It was on clearance for $15. I thought it was a seal because it's qu it's a quite big of a piece. So it fits perf, this is our um, living room closet here. So it fits perfectly And then finally, above. I forgot guys, we did stop in at Kirkland's cause I wanted to just check out what they have. I love what they have. Um, and I really like the store because it's smaller, so you're not so overwhelmed. Whereas at Hobby Lobby, sometimes you're overwhelmed putting pieces together. But this is a fresh new piece, this little picture ladder that we got here. This was um, $79.99, but we did have a 30% off coupon. So we were able to grab this for around $56, which I thought was a good price. So next month you will see this filled with brand new pictures in here. And okay, guys, ready to and go. the fork and the spoon that were normally $19.99 but 50% are up on the wall. I think they're a cute little touch. I love them. They're not super huge. We've seen ones that were like super, super huge, but I think they fit really good and they work really great on the wall. You can see they're not hanging out at all. And basically, what my husband used, let me try is an anchor and then there's a screw in there. So it's a nice clean, um, you know, it's nice and clean for the wall, but these are super, super cute. And then I just put this little sign here, but um, this may go, I think I might get a new um, set here. I'm not too sure. And I love my pictures, don't get me wrong, but this may go as well. So I'm, you know, throughout the year, I'm gonna be doing different changes. So definitely and stick here around. Here is the bottom where I put that picture that was $9.99 from At Home. I love At Home. And if you follow Shanty to Chic, I love them. I wish they could build some furniture for me, but they have really awesome farmhouse style. And it's just really, really interesting to see what they build. And then this I've just had up there. And then on the other side, it's a little mix match because one of the things that broke was a piece like this that matched. So um, I love these. I got these from um, Home Goods. So, and then just a little piggy there. Okay guys, and here is the home sign. It is up on the wall. I really love it. Now this is just a huge wall. So we took down that old, picture and we put this up now my son has his heart set on us keeping that picture so he wants us to put it in our bedroom so for our baby of course we're finding a place for it and all my husband has to do is take out um, the screw that's in there that was holding up and 
patch up that wall, but it looks amazing. And for $70, I'm really, really happy um, with the change. Okay, so now just to get you informed on where we are going each month and what budget we're working with, we have, which we are not going to be spending this much money, but $5,000 in our budget. We're not doing any major changes. We're not changing flooring. The only major change that we will be doing is refinishing the cabinets. So that is probably where the bulk of it will come. We will not be spending that much money, but it's always good to have a budget, have that money ready to spend. So you should not be charging things or using store credit, things like that. Try to, um, you know, tax season if you put a little bit of money aside and then you have a budget to work with it you don't have to get everything done at once um you know when you have kids when you have pets things like that the house takes a lot of wear and tear so sometimes it's better to wait to get things done when the kids get a little older or you know just different things that will help you to enjoy the work that you've done so right now we're just doing minor things that will make a change currently but then if we want to go back later and do some you know real renovations um then we can go ahead and do that but we're working with a five thousand dollar budget and there's no way that we're spending that much so this month with the home decor and i will be keeping track each month and telling you where we are in the budget so at the end of the year i will show a collective video of everything that we did so you guys can go ahead and see see what we spent um it's not going to be major like i said this is just doing a couple things each month to, you know, put some love into the house basically. So this month we spent $182.02 for everything that I showed you. So that is what we're working with in January. February, some things that we're looking to do is get new lamps in here. Our, I don't know if you can see the lamp, but it's not really working. Some new pillows. Um, you can see the pillows back here. Now we've had those, um, you know, ocean blue and the beige pillows forever. And um, the other pillows are from Amazon. We really like them, but I think, you know, we're going to be replacing actually all of them to make it work. We're not doing anything with the furniture. We're not doing anything with the flooring in here. And then we're looking to get some baskets and a centerpiece for our table because between now and next video, we will have that finished. So we want to decorate it and show it to you. Um, so yeah, definitely check back next month. Let's see what we do. And remember, fixing up things in your house, you can do it on a budget. And sticking to the budget is the best feeling when you don't owe all of this extra money that you have to pay back for things that you've done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.